So I wanted to take you guys through today what I carry in my bag with me as a Nomad BJJ competitor. We got a few questions recently about how I managed to travel around and compete full time. Um, and a lot of the questions kind of center around the logistics and like what I'm packing and stuff. And a lot of people ask me like how I managed to fit the geese in my bag if I'm only carrying everything in a single bag. So I don't have a fixed location. I don't rent an apartment or anything. Um, right now I'm actually just staying with my friends Tara and Jimmy in San Jose, California because I had a competition here. Um, and I'm actually traveling to Barcelona later today in a few hours for a Jiu Jitsu tournament there. And I'll be packing the same exact stuff that I also bring with me when I travel across the United States, so no difference there. And everything that I carry is laid out on the bed behind me right here. That's my entire life. And it all fits inside of this bag. So hopefully if you guys are thinking about doing something similar, just interested in minimal packing, this will give you some tips or some inspiration. So let's check it out. I woke up this morning. Got me feeling brand new, like I know what to do. Got me feeling the stars in. And sisters sending clues, I'm sending gratitude back. Cause the whole world outside, sun in my eyes. Um, this is some extra stuff I had while I was staying with Tara and Jimmy here. I need to go put that in my storage unit, but this has been the bag I've been using for over a year, this King's bag, but the zipper broke and there's, it's kind of bulky. I don't need all that. So I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could downsize it to fit everything in that bag from Uniqlo instead. Here's the bag that all of that goes in. So I kind of lied. Everything goes in that bag, and then I have what the airlines refer to as a personal item bag, which is this bag under here. That's where all the extra stuff that I'll be using on the plane goes, in that bag. So it's actually kind of two bags, but everything ends up getting split between those two bags. First things first, let's start with the clothes that I bring. Um, so I have one gi here, another gi here. Those are the things that take up the most space. I need a gi plus a backup gi just in case one rips in competition. Um, then I have some underwear. I think I'll bring like four or five pairs. Rash guard. I'm wearing my no gi shorts right now, um, but those will go in the bag. I'm gonna change my clothes later. I've got a pair of jeans, a nice button down shirt, a t-shirt and I'll be wearing another t-shirt. Uh, I got my belt, my jujitsu belt. Um, this copy of Meditations from Marcus Aurelius, a journal, um, some flip-flops. This is my wallet, it just attaches to the back of my phone. An external battery for charging all my stuff. This holds my passport and my foreign driver's license. It's my car key. Um, this is my like little electronics pouch. I've got like headphones, an uh, international adapter, a hard drive, some miscellaneous like cash and stuff like that. I uh, got some AirPods I just picked up. Got this microphone system, which I'm actually using right now to record this video. Toiletries bag, scale, and we've got my work laptop. I've got my iPad where I do my video editing. And what's not pictured here is my phone and the tripod that I'm using to record this video. That's basically everything. That's like every single thing that I'll bring with me to any location I travel to. I'm gonna be in Barcelona for a week and a half and this will basically sustain me. I get a few questions like when people see this minimal packing, like about laundry, for example, um, and it's actually not that hard. Um, usually what I try to do now is find an Airbnb that has a laundry machine in it, but if not, then I'll just try to pick a place that's maybe close to a laundromat. And if all else fails, I can just bring my laundry into the shower with me and wash it in cold water. <laughs> it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but um, I can just wash it in the shower and hang dry it and that works too. Um, the other question I get is like, I don't have backups of anything. So every single item that I put in my bag serves a specific purpose. There's no redundant items. And if I lose one of these items or something gets stolen, um, they're all easily replaceable, but I won't have a backup for it. So like the main things that are important for me to keep track of is like this bag, which has my passport in it and 
the clothes that I'm wearing, my phone, which I'm recording on right now. And I could basically get around with just that stuff as long as I get a haircut so I don't look like, like a hobo. But that's it. It's, it's all, I think it's a lot easier than people think um, to travel very lightly, very minimally. Maybe it's not for everybody. I know a lot of people like to um, bring like different outfits and dress up and stuff. But what I've done with my clothes, for example, Shout out to a friend, you know who you are, who inspired me to go minimal and get a bunch of tattoos. Um, all my clothes are black, so everything matches each other. And the clothing items that I have are pretty durable, they're denim. And so that, that clothing situation works for me. I don't really need to like dress up too much or anything. So everything matches each other. I've got a plenty of mix of like articles of clothing to wear for warm weather, cold weather. What's not pictured here is a hoodie and sweatpants that I wear when I'm traveling, which are in the laundry right now. That's it. If you guys have any questions or want more tips or any more information on how I configure my bag and my packing or anything, uh, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer and maybe even make a subsequent video about that. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Woke up this morning, got me feeling brand new like